Oh, hi, Rich Keeble here. Welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video, the old deer park run, I've just done that. Ah, uh, yes, I'm just going to interrupt myself there. Now, you may be a little bit confused at that last statement because Old Deer Park Run wasn't the last video I released. It was the uh, negativity riddled dark skies video. So just to explain, on the Wednesday of my week three training plan, my stepdad went into hospital with possible hypothermia. We're not sure. So given that he's sort of well into his 80s, as is my mother, suddenly my uh, time got sucked in to hospital visits, talking to people from social services on the phone, etc. So it meant that a lot of my runs got pushed into the evenings and I got really behind with my editing. So two weeks on, as I'm talking to you now as the future me, well, in relation to the me in this video, but still the past me with regards to you watching this video. I mean, that's the magic of television. He's a lot better, touch wood. Did get COVID in the hospital, but seems to be coming out the other side of that. And in terms of keeping one's spirits up, I always find that watching this short clip of Oliver Hardy putting his head through a drawer. That never fails to put a smile on my face. So with all this new information, let's go back back in time a couple of weeks and uh, pick up from me filming straight on from that Old Deer Park run in what would have been a beautifully continuous piece of documentary filmmaking. If you watched my last video, the Old Deer Park run, I've just done that uh, as I'm recording this. I've just said goodbye to Dale and I'm just jogging home now through uh, some very nice and posh areas of Richmondy area. Just running past the golf course and I'm literally just 18k in to this long run today. Dale picked me up, uh, we jogged about 5.5k to the park run, did the park run, jogged back to his car and now I'm running home because I've got 23k on the, on the thing. The park run was fun, took it really easy, we just kind of jogged it, but yeah, see you at the end. Okay, that's the run done. I actually did uh, 25k, which is more than the uh, more than the chart, and I was out for nearly three hours, so I guess that's quite considerable. Didn't feel too bad, to be fair. Um, slight ache in my hip, which is uh, what I tend to notice on these long runs where I haven't done them for a while. But yeah, 25k run. Haven't done over 20 for a couple of months. Didn't feel too bad. Uh, and it means I've done 54k for the week, which is amazing considering I haven't felt that well and I've been sort of struggling a bit mentally to think about doing it. But yeah, it means I've only got to do like seven tomorrow to get it all in. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. So yes, the following day on the Sunday, I just did a 7K run because that's all I needed to do to get up to the 61K total. For some reason, I went out at quarter to 11 at night. I'm not sure why I went out so late, but it might have had something to do with the fact that my wife and kids were back from Poland the following day. So perhaps I was tidying up. And yes, on that Monday, uh, so the start of week three, I went out for a 13k easy run um, at 8pm. My fifth day running in a row, which I don't think I've ever done uh, before. The Tuesday, I was supposed to do an interval session, but I moved it to the Wednesday. So let's pick it up there and watch a bit of very dark footage where again, I've gone out very late. But as per the Dark Skies uh, video, where I thought I wouldn't really get much usable footage because the lack of light and I didn't get much usable footage, but I still used it. I suppose you could say that on this channel, we use the unusable. And in a way, that's the magic of television, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't believe how late this is. It's like quarter to 11. I spent ages looking for my gloves. I was looking everywhere for them. It wasn't until I looked in the place where they're normally kept that I found them. So that wasted even more time. I'm just doing the warm up for my tempo session. It's bloody cold, I tell you that for nothing. Lucky this uh, top I got from the London Marathon for not getting in the ballad is actually quite warm. The session is six lots of three minutes at interval pace with a two minute rest. And this is gonna be my first speed session 
uh, well, ever on this plan because I've been just doing everything easy except for 1k on Saturday at the park run uh, because of my illness that we've talked about a lot anyway, I know you can't see me so uh, I'll catch up with you in a sec Okay, here we go. So I need to run, well, the interval pace on this plan, he's saying between about 3.55 and 4.05, I think. So I'm currently on about, well, running about 3.56 at the moment. Let's see how that feels. Yeah, that's the first rep done. I think it was around four minutes per kilometer pace. I did sort of ease off a bit because, you know, I haven't run that fast for a while and I've got five more to do. Um, yeah, so about 750 meters. Uh, uh, oh, I think my, my light gone off on my hat. I think I need to charge it, don't I? Anyway, I know you can't see me at all, so, I'll uh, catch up with you when I've done the rest. Okay, that's the workout done. 50 minutes, uh, just over 9K in total. Yeah, so um, as you can see from the splits on the screen there, I think the first one was a bit of a struggle. I wasn't quite warmed up. The rest of them felt quite easy, except for the last one, which was a bit of a struggle. So I didn't need to push that hard. I didn't need to go sub four minute pace but I kind of just thought I'd see where I was at because if you watch the uh, ticket park run video uh, you'll see that I struggled to get close to 20 minutes I just couldn't get my legs turning over quicker than uh, about 405 per kilometer yeah feeling good glad I got at the door you know you just if you're doing a marathon plan you just gotta try and get get it done when you can of course I've shot myself in the foot because tomorrow morning my wife is out early so I'll have to be out early and get the kids ready and whatnot so no lie in for me tomorrow and I've got a busy morning probably have to get a few things done before popping into the hospital in the afternoon and of course yeah fitting in another run doing a video game demo yeah oh that was an ambulance not the cops anyway I'll tell you what that story about my gloves was really something. Thursday I had a 10k easy run which I put on Strava here. I went out at 9.30. Felt surprisingly good I've said. Maybe when you've been going out at 11 p.m. a 9.30 p.m. run feels super early. <laughs> See how I make jokes on the Strava there. Yes on Friday was a tempo run which I moved to Saturday. Let's look at some of that because that was during the day and I managed to film some just sort of footage of me pissing about, which we might as well look at because it's, you know, it's there. Acting. I'd already stopped it before. <laughs> it's Saturday. I didn't get out for the run yesterday because after going and visiting my stepdad in the hospital and then having a conversation with my mum on the phone which is quite difficult it was I think literally 11pm and I knew I had to be up early-ish today so I just went to bed and thought I'd do it, uh, do the run today and then just hope for the best regarding the long run tomorrow so that's tempo run done I'm actually very happy with how that went so 4k easy, 3k tempo, managed to kind of hold about 415 per kilometer, which felt, you know, comfortably uncomfortable. And then, yeah, 3k easy, while I just stopped and did a bit of filming. Yeah, that's uh, 42k for the week so far. So 26 tomorrow, you know, should be all right. Garmin says I'm productive. VO2 max still on 51, hasn't gone back up to 52 ignoring that a bit really anyway feeling good in the legs feeling better in the old snot situation so all good 
And that brings us up to Sunday, the final day uh, in this far too long video uh, where I'm doing this 26k long run. So I tell you what, let's just go straight into that. Can't wait. It's Sunday, the final run of week three. It's about five to eight and I'm about a kilometre in to my scheduled long run, which is a mere 26 kilometres. Oh, just talking to some mates on WhatsApp and they were like, maybe we could do the run tomorrow. But of course tomorrow I've got another run and then a run the day after. Uh, me and the wife and the kids met up with another couple we know who have a daughter, same age as my eldest daughter. And we went to see the BBC experience thing up near Earl's Court. We're just basically just showing you a load of David Attenborough wildlife videos on big screens. So I'm not entirely convinced it was worth the money. And then uh, my, uh, I took my eldest daughter back to their house to let them play together because my younger daughter wanted to go home because she thought she'd shat herself. She's uh, four and a half, by the way, for context. So my wife took her home. Here we are, this is why I'm going out at five to eight. One of the more enjoyable uh, elements of the day was when David Attenborough said something like, that was a very successful hunt. And I turned to my wife and said, what did he call me? <laughs> and then of course she said, well, he can't have been talking about you because he said successful. So this run is 26K. What Ben Parks has done is he's divided it up into bits of easy and marathon pace. So it's four lots of 5K easy, followed by one and a half K marathon pace, which makes up 26K. You do the math to break up some of the monotony. I'm also going to uh, catch up with some messages on my phone. So I'm going to leave a few voice notes. Right, so that's the first marathon pace kilometre and a half chunk done. Which I did manage pretty spot on 427, 428 I think. Which kind of felt okay. It's kind of difficult to get into the rhythm sometimes. And I guess that's why it's so important to practice running at certain paces. So I'm hoping that in three months time, if the training goes according to plan, that pace will feel quite easy. And I can maintain it for just under three hours, 10 minutes. Yeah, so just come up to the 10 mile marker, just over an hour and a half. Yeah, so that's literally two minutes or less slower than when I raced the Great South Run in 2022. So, you know, reminding yourself of things like this are just really motivating. You know, at my easy pace at the moment is only a little bit slower than my race pace was for the 10 mile distance two years ago. And there's the half marathon distance done in under two hours comfortably 157 now again two years ago when i did the hampton court palace half uh, same year i did the great south run i did it in two hours and two minutes and i was going as fast as i could so you know again remind yourself of these little achievements not compare yourself to other people so much but compare to your own advancement Ah, oh, so there we have it. That's the run done. 26k, mixture of um, easy and marathon pace. To be honest, I'm really happy with how that run went. Uh, not just because I didn't lose any bank cards uh, during the run, but uh, for the timings at 10 miles and half marathon pace, you know, very happy about that. But also the fact that I can bang out a run like that and not feel absolutely trashed at the end of it is quite encouraging. That's 68K for the week, biggest week for a long time. So it's a cutback week next week, and then we start some serious building into the 70s and 80Ks. So, yeah. 
let's um, hope nothing disastrous happens and we keep going. So yeah, thank you. Okay, there we go, we made it. So that's a 68K a week. Generally feeling quite good sticking to the runs. I think I, apart from the first week that was a bit funny because of the illness, I think this might be the most I've stuck to a marathon training plan so far. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're a new person watching this channel, then please consider liking and subscribing. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with it. Check out these other videos, please. And uh, I'll see you around.